one of the annoying things in forex trading or trading on any market is going to is going to lower time frames just to open the order and not waiting with the higher time frames for example one hour time frame four hour time frame or daily time frame just to open the trade it is annoying to wait on the higher time frames for the price to move in specific direction just to open the trade so to overcome this issue or the problem you go to the lower time frames and then lose the money this is something that happens to most of the traders who are trading because being patient is one of the virtues that you need to uh, that you need to build as time goes and if that is something that is bothering you it is something that you need to work on for example i was also impatient and also i was or wanted to enter the trade as quickly as possible because i wanted to trade i want to open sell or buy order just to see how my trades go in profit but when they go to the loss after the, after a while i came i came to my mind that it's better to wait for the better signals on the high time frames which usually you know, after the time passes i forgot that and then get back to the lower time frames this is something that annoys me most of the time and also i think all the traders all the traders who are trading experience the same feeling and also do the same mistakes let me explain you how this looks i will use four hour time frame on the gold gold against us dollar to show you one of the examples what happens let's say that in this case where the price currently is moving up i would like to wait for the price to return all the way back down to this support level to 29900 and then open a buy order because i'm expecting that the price will bounce from this area and the price will go up all the way to 232913 so in, so in order to open this order i could open a buy limit order which means i would like to open a pending order which means a buy limit where the open price would be here at 2299 so this means i could open 2299 the price level clicks the place button and when the price goes here okay we can see that this buy limit let's move this uh, price a little bit up just to see 231 sorry 2301 modify here it is i want just to see it here on the chart so i'm expecting that the price will go down all the way to this price level here and then the price will reverse back up bounce it from this support and go up in my favor now in order for my order to be open i need to wait for the price to return all the way back down how much time do i need to wait well it depends how fast the market is the market volatile which means there are traders that are pushing the price up or down or the price is moving sideways opening and closing a very small candles body just like in this example we can see that small candles body compared to the larger ones for example this one i will lay uh, uh, for the last one two three four four for the last uh, 16 hours the price is not making any significant movements to the up or to the down it's moving sideways around this area which means 2313 is the, is the current area where the price is moving around when the price will reach this buy limit well it depends how fast the market will be during the day currently the market is very very calm so i would need to wait here for several hours maybe days because in the last 16 hours the price did not move very significantly so instead of waiting for several hours for the price to return all the way back down what could what i can do one of the ways is to go to the lower time frames for example if i go to the one hour time frame to see how the market reacts i could for example move this buy limit here it will be much it will be very close to the current market price so i would need to wait less than in the case on the four hour time frame now when the price will reach this one well if we take a look here how the candles looks these candles body are also small ones compared to this one and also to this one this means i probably would need to wait more for several hours for the price to return all the way back down well instead of waiting that i could go to the five minute time frame or one minute time frame just to see how the price behaves well now this looks much better because i can see the price is bouncing between these two these two price levels the price is going up go down go up go down now what i could do 
to enter the trade. Well, I could move this buy limit, for example, very close to this one here, because in the last few minutes, I can see that the price has reached this uh, price level, which means my buy limit will open very quickly. Well, I have solved the problem that annoys me waiting for too long for my trades to open, but what I have done right now, I have completely moved outside of my analysis, which says when the price reaches this strong support here, around 2299, I am expecting the price will reverse and go up. But what I have done right now, I, am I have come very close to the open price, where I can see that the price has reached it in the past. This price level tried to, do, to go down, then it has bounced back up, then tried again to go down here. In this case, in the last four hours, the price tried also to go down. And I'm expecting that the price will bounce from this price level and it will go up. So completely I have gone outside of my analysis, which has said that at first the price needs to come here and then reverse back up. I have entered into this one here. So what, it, what this means? This means if the price goes and reaches this area, which means 2299 from the current market price, this will mean that if my trade is open, I will be in loss for large of amount of pips. And that means I will lose lots of money. So for example, let's put here a stop loss and the take profit level just to show you how this looks. For example, 2297 will be stop loss. It will be just slightly below this support line. And let's put take profit, which will be very close to 2328. For example, 2328. What if I? And here it is. So my loss would be here. Take a look just a minute would be $1,532. If the price opens at the current market price, which is here at 2312.32, instead of opening an order here, we can see that. Just a minute, I will change this one. Let me change this one at price. Price will be 2301. Here it is. Now let's take a look. What will be the stop loss? The stop loss would be 490. So this means around 1000 less the loss would be if I open the price right here. But I have decided that I would like to open the price at the price which is very close to the current market price, which will mean 2310, for example. Let's modify. It will be, let's go to the one minute time frame and come very close to this one here. Here it is. Now you can see what happens if you move to the lower time frames and not being patient waiting for your analysis to be uh, confirmed with the, uh, with the trade open at the buy limit I have defined. Well, this means that it, because of the market is moving very slow on the higher time frames, on this lower time frame, you would need to adapt and you would need to change the stop loss, which would be very close to this one, and the take profit would be right here. But this is something that on the one minute time frame, it is very close to the scalping, which means very fast trading. If that is something that is interesting you, you can do that. But currently, I wanted to show you what means being patient and what means annoying to trade on higher time frames. When you're trading on the higher time frames, you need to be patient and wait for the price to reach the target. Well, it's not easy to be patient if you are waiting in front of the uh, PC, waiting for the price to drop down. It is easily possible that you will be forced because of impatience that you move your buy limit very close to the open price and not following your analysis. And usually what happens, the price goes against you and you lose the money on the small time frames because you have not made the analysis on the on one minute time frame but on the four hour time frame. Now what you will do, how you will prevent that, it is the best to be patient and move away from your PC and your screen, not looking in the chart when the price will come here to the open price that has been defined by the analysis. Instead of, of opening the price here, where the price can easily move sideways, we can see that the price was jumping around this price level. Your stop loss, if it is right here, very close to the open price, which means open price is here. If you put your stop loss right here, there is a potential very easy that the price could reach your stop loss and then move in the direction you want it to go up. This is something that happens on the lower time frame because you can see that the price is jumping, which means the price is moving. There is a volatility on the lower time frames, but on the higher time frames, which means one hour time frame, four hour time frame, or daily time frame, 
the price moves very slow and it needs a days to move in the direction you want. You can see that in this case here, the price moves move sideways between these two price levels. When the price will reach this one, you can see that you could wait for two weeks for the price to move in your direction. So it is mandatory to be patient on the trading if you're trading analysis in the high, on the higher time frames. It is something to work on yourself. Trading on the any market is something that points what is weak in you. For example, if you do not want to wait for the price to come on the four hour time frame to the open price right here, this means that impatience is something that you need to work on, not forcing the trade to open the trade just to open the trade on the small time frames, but being patient and wait until the price reaches your target, which is the open price based on your trading analysis. I hope this example has shown you what means being patient and what means annoying to trade on high time frames and waiting for the price to hit your open price. And then instead of waiting, you go to the lower time frame and start trading on the small time frame, which at the end leads to losing the money on your trading account. If you have any questions uh, regarding this example, feel free to ask anything. I will try to answer as soon as possible. And if you like the video, click the like button and subscribe. See you next time and happy trading.